Today, if you want to protect yourself against the flu, you go to a pharmacy and get a shot or nasal spray and hope for the best. Ben Smart joins us now live in the studio to tell us about a promising new approach. Ben. One UNC research team's discovery using tiny particles could mean big changes for the future of vaccines. And then that leads Give to Dr. Greg Robbins markers, a whiteboard and a few minutes, and he'll show you how vaccines could be transformed using tiny objects called nanoparticles. When it's in the lymph node, it will actually um, start activating cells that are involved in antibody production. Nanoparticles are so small that researchers can create hundreds of thousands using sheets like this one, which works like a mini ice cube tray. Are about 125,000 times larger. Using nanoparticles and vaccines could protect against certain lung-specific diseases such as the flu. But now, a surprising discovery. Researchers found the charge of a nanoparticle made a huge difference in how well the immune system responds. And either put a positive charge indicated by the green peg here or a negative charge indicated by the red peg. And if we took the positively charged particles, we get a nice strong antibody response. If we administer the negatively charged particles, which remember are the same except for the charge, we see a weak and sometimes no antibody response. Robin says this breakthrough is important, but don't expect to see inhalable nanoparticle vaccines anytime soon. When they're finished, these vaccines wouldn't require refrigeration. And may actually allow for vaccines to uh, reach uh, more developing uh, nations, for example. Developing nations such as the Congo, where infectious diseases are among the leading causes of death. Inhalable vaccines haven't made it beyond initial human trials, so for now you'll still have to get the shots or the spray. Well, I know I'm looking forward to the time that needles aren't part of the process. Ben Smart, live in the studio. Thanks.